internet slash vidcon slash less than famous panel slash uh, <laughs> yep I'm just gonna keep that part in my name is Cat of Diamonds at least here on the internet and in real life I go by cat hence the handle Cat of Diamonds I love YouTube if you could love an inanimate object or even like an idea I guess since YouTube has offices but it's on the internet and the internet isn't really corporeal Getting off topic, I love YouTube, I love the community, I am definitely a part of the Nerdfighter community, and in real life I am a community addict. I love getting involved. So the opportunity to get involved with the less than famous community is absolutely something that I'm interested in. If you've just started YouTube or if you've been around for what seems like ages, it's kind of a crazy place to be. There are things that are constantly changing, things that don't change that much. Sure, you've decided who you are at your core, but the more you get involved in different communities and see different perspectives, the more you grow or reevaluate or get to see how many different people are actually out there, and YouTube is phenomenal for that. I thought about scripting this video, and I tried. I tried for days, but this is not about what's on the script. This is about who we are as YouTubers and who we are as small YouTubers. This is about a community and despite what reality TV says, community cannot be scripted. I went to VidCon in 2012 and it blew my mind. I had so much fun. I tried to get every ounce of what was available at YouTube in inside my brain and inside my camera and inside my memory and inside my heart and it would be so great to be a part of what VidCon gives back to community members who are there to have fun and grow and learn. In contests or in competitions, one of the questions that gets answered is why do you think you're the best candidate for this job? The thing is, I don't think I'm the best. I don't think I'm better than anybody else. I could be very much worse than a lot of the people trying out for this. While it's not fun being worse and you want to strive to be better, I just want to be a voice. And I do believe in my own voice. I definitely bring the perspective of a lo-fi YouTuber because I don't have any fancy equipment. This is all natural lighting and it's why I'm not wearing my glasses because reflection. I've also been creating content on Cat of Diamonds since 2009 and a little over a year ago I started Fanish Reviews, a booktube channel. And if you combine those two channels, I'm still creating content for less than 500 subscribers. The thing is, I don't care. While it would be lovely to grow my subscribers, it's not why I do it. I do it for me. I do it because I want to get involved. I've been involved in two collaboration channels. First was the Awkward Nuts channel, which we do not film videos for that channel anymore, but I'm currently on Project Nerdy. I've had the amazing opportunity to get involved with other collaborations by being a part of Eclick Nick's Tube Trials or Fizzy Lyman's Fizzy Olympics. And as far as my personality, I have never met a stranger, so I would happily sit and talk with anybody and everybody who wants to talk about this long after the panel is over. And as far as my experience being a panelist, while I've never done it at YouTube, I have been a part of three panels at conventions before, including running my own. Good luck to everybody else auditioning. I hope to see you there. And until my next video, DFTBA.